In recent weeks, millions of young Americans have complained about a corrupt institution paid for by businesses with no regard to human life. And after millions and millions of complaints, that institution has still refused to back down. That's right, y'all. Snapchat is not reversing their update. Thank you for tuning in to The Rundown with Davis Mendoza de Ruzman. It's been a while since I've been on air, and so much has happened since. So, let's get right down to it. In response to America's call for common sense gun reform, Walmart is expected to raise the age requirement to buy firearms and ammunition. You know, for a place that's run by greedy businessmen, employs prepubescent children and the elderly with no in-between, and is definitely pretty shady at all times of day, the only difference between Walmart and the White House is their action on gun reform. The national supermarket, Kroger, has decided to stop selling guns to buyers under 21 as well, prompting the response, Kroger sells guns? I mean, like, seriously, Kroger sells guns? I didn't, I didn't know that. Dick's Sporting Goods has also joined the national conversation on gun reform by stopping the sales of assault-style rifles. God, come on, guys. What has our country come to? First, Walmart is raising the age to buy guns. Then Kroger doesn't sell guns to teenagers. And now Dick's isn't selling assault-style rifles? Who is going to be the next person to do something about this? Our government? <laughs> Please. The White House chief calligrapher has a higher clearance level than Jared Kushner. Some are citing President Trump's admiration for the calligrapher's penmanship, while others are citing President Trump's admiration for Jared Kushner's wife. Speaking of admiration, there is now a dating site for straight Trump supporters called Trump.Dating. However, in typical Trump fashion, the dating site only allows you to match profiles created by your daughter. Back-to-back -back Ivanka jokes, you're welcome, America. Vodafone and Nokia have announced their plan to launch a 4G network on the moon. Scientists, however, are warning Nokia not to send anything to the moon, with growing concerns that shooting a Nokia to the moon will most likely obliterate it. The Department for Housing and Urban Development, run by former brain surgeon Ben Carson, has reportedly spent over $31,000 of taxpayer money on a dining room set. When asked if he thought it was a good idea, he simply said it was a no-brainer. We are not above puns here at this show. President Trump threatened to get very rough against North Korea if his sanctions don't succeed. Very rough. That'll go down as the lamest speech in U.S. history, next to Patrick Henry's Give Me Liberty or Go Very Rough, or Reagan in Berlin saying, Mr. Gorbachev, go very rough on this wall. Well, that's going to be it for me today, y'all. Uh, if I brought a smile to your face or made you hate me and my terrible jokes, Remember to like the video and share it. Thank you so much for tuning into the rundown. I'm Davis Mendoza de Ruzman, signing off.